What's going on guys? We have another video for you guys today. Me and Evan here. Uh, shout out to Glavron for translating the song. We have Sansa Salvo Aguirre Roman. This was back in 2008. Um, this was kind of oh, maybe... old school. Uh, pretty old school, yeah. This was kind of a uh, prime Sansa Salvo. He's regarded maybe as one of the best um, okay. artists of, uh, of hip-hop. So, so let's get started. He was 18, so okay, pretty young, a while back ago. We read the description, by the way. Damn, this video is like 480p. Yeah, blurry. <laughs> Hold on, I feel like we need to Living for about 20 years Damn, 12? Heja, no way I like his uh, different of a uh, tone there. Yep. Then he drops it back down. So, not entirely too sure, to be honest, but it feels like he's just talking about kind of his upbringing and his upcoming into maybe the uh, hip hop rap industry. Right. He's talking about what he wants to do, what he's experiencing right now, what he wants to achieve, kind of the struggles. And kind of like the perception of him. Well, like, he's like what not, people think of him? Not a dealer, but he's a smoker. He's not a violent person, but he'll beat you he up. He keeps his knuckle busters on him just in case. Okay, I didn't catch that part. Kind so of that's, a thing. It's like, a good catch there. Perceptually, people see him as one thing, but he's not because. Yeah, so when people think maybe of a hip hop artist, they think right. these stereotypical just things. Because he's in hip hop. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. he's in hip hop. They see all these things, but he's not that. He just <coughs> um, kind of had to go through the grind to get to where he wants yeah. to be. I mean, for someone who's 18, uh, this is a pretty good, pretty good song. Uh, personally, it's just, it's just. I guess it's a little bit hard for me to kind of grasp it and just understand it completely. Uh, but I'm, I can't take anything away from from Seltzer for for this song and just. Um, this video. I mean, in 2008, this was probably a hit. The yeah, the hit. <clears throat> Maybe not a hit because usually hits are more like poppy and just not really real. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, but it's probably like adored by um, hip hop fans, probably. Right, it's super relatable. It was the song, yeah. Um, and I feel like that's kind of, I mean, in the music industry itself, whether you're talking about rap or rock or pop or. Like, that's the come up, is, like, wherever you're at in life, how, when you get famous, people always perceive you one thing one way or another when you're not necessarily that, you know what I mean? And that's kind of what he's getting at, I feel like. 
Yeah, like they'll, he's they'll look to at get you based on what they, the perception of yeah. people see him as this thing, and he's really just you know a guy who's just trying to chase his dream. Can't say anything more to that, to be honest. Um, like I said, uh, kind of hard to understand, kind of hard to maybe maybe relate to, but I enjoyed it. Uh, just give a good good vibe to it. Just felt felt real, so sure, felt genuine. Um, seven and a half, eight, probably, just because, um, I feel like he's pretty talented, especially at this young age, so. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm going to give the score. Are you okay with giving the score? You probably... Yeah, I mean, I feel, I feel you. Same? With what you're saying, yeah. All right, bet. All right. No cap. Uh, yeah, shout out against, again, to, uh, Glavron for translating the song. We really appreciate it. Next up, we have a song translated by... Satuk Bura, and I'm not gonna pronounce your last name or whatever that name is. Sirhat Islak Atesh Wet Fire is what it translates to. Wet Fire. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this guy also did my graphics on my channel, so shout out this guy. Oh, shout out. Uh, never heard of this guy. This was kind of an underground song, so let's go. Let's get it. Wow, you can already oh, hear the, like, the organ. organ. There's some organ for you. No, organs are in my body, bro. You're so dumb. Yeah. A lot of organs in your body. Also, shout out Malik. Malik. We're translating them then. What uh, up? Took for uh, making the video. Classical beat. I like his voice. Don't press the trigger, but thank I like that. Wow. <laughs> Damn, this guy's been real facts, bro. I could stop at literally every other line here. What do you think of the beat? Is it something you're into? Yeah, it's like old English, some sort of Celtic. Yes, yeah, exactly. Like Lindsey Sterling is doing a feature with this guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I do. Y'all don't know who Lindsey Sterling is? Look her up. You know exactly what I'm saying. Seems like he's telling people to stay away. Because you're in the end, you're probably gonna regret it. Just stay away from this industry. Stay away from this life. For me, honestly, this is this is really amazing, especially uh, the lyrics. The it's almost like he's storytelling. It's almost like speaking from experience, right? And it's it's semi melodic too, to what's going on. There we go. Yeah. There it is, silent. This is like this is like a quintessential a rap track. Like totally. you got some some turntables there. You got yep. the DJ. Got some nice classical instruments uh, in, in, incorporated into the song. Scratches, just I feel nice like... lyrics, just no mumbling. I feel like he is dissing certain people without 
naming them. Naming them out, you know? But like, I could see that. The people who watch, who are watching this video know who they are. You know what I mean? When he says they sell you out in this business kind of a gig, like he's yeah. talking to some specific people. I think he's maybe saying like, Certain people like think it's a game. He's like saying, "No, it's not a game, dude. You're, you're dumb, dude. You're, you don't understand what it's like. Like, you, you don't understand what it's like. You, you have no experience. You have no idea." All the new guys coming in. New guys, yeah. Right. Probably the fa- the old guys who are fake, who are sure. fake. Um, but this is one of the most, um, at least. Um, recent songs that just abs- not necessarily relatable but just so easy to understand and so like like yeah yeah absolutely mm-hmm. you kind of get this like uh, affirmation maybe not affirmation but just kind of like he's saying what he means there's no analogies there's no no it's like r- running around the bush mm-hmm. he's, this is what it is Line for line, it's the like... The game, this is a game. Don't come in at the game if you're not ready to play. The, the, like, honestly, I could talk about pretty much every single line. In this game, everybody... What is it? I forgot. Everybody <laughs> tussles with you. Sorrow falls from the sky to your face. It's like... This is not... This is... It's literally not a... It's not fun. It's not a game. Don't carry a gun at your pocket, at your waist, at your hand. They're your biggest enemy's best friend. Knife and gun replaces words. It's like in here, dude, you can you might talk shit, but you're gonna get the stabbing or the shooting, bro. Yeah. It's like words don't mean nothing, bro. There's uh the sun does not burn, the rain does not stop, clouds are not it's like it doesn't stop for you. It's not there's no sunshine here. It's not a happy place. Mm. You can't be a murderer in all your life. You can't tap, stop, and roll to the top and end. It's can't always shoot what you want. There isn't returning. There's never returning. It's like once you're in here, dude. One way or another, you're essentially Injury. you can't come back to your yeah. original life. It's, you're always going to be somehow connected. And he knows that because um, he's already in it. Yeah, I feel like he's speaking from experience. It's not like he's right. just making stuff up, man. Right. Dude, I'm gonna give this like a nine, nine and a half out of ten. Man. Uh, Mainly based on the likes alone. Um, just a classical, quintessential rap track. There's nothing, nothing more for me to say. So, you might not sure. necessarily, uh, I don't know, just kind of relate to me. I'll give it an eight because I like violin going on. Mm-hmm. And apparently, and I, this and was the violin version. If you look at the the song title, it's hey. La Catech violin version. Violin version. So, kind of so, curious maybe what the original version sounds sure, like. Sure, sure. Yeah, but, absolutely adored this. Know, just speaking off what we watched, yeah, I liked it. liked it a lot. He seems like yeah. he's got a lot to say. And and it's, and, like, I, I understand what he's saying. Sure. That's so, if if a person from another language or another country sure. raps in it, and then it, it's so easily translatable that I can understand it pretty much 95% of the time. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Mm-hmm. So, uh, right on. Yeah, like I said, nine and a half, um, and I completely understand why it's not a very popular song. This is not what people want to hear. This is sure. not. It's not enjoyable for people to listen to. Uh, so, doesn't have like a catchy hook or anything like that. Right. It's not like a club B or anything like that. So, uh, once again, shout out to Malik uh, for translating. SMB for uh, making this video. Good job, Malik. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. That's it for this video. Hope you guys all right enjoyed on, it. Guys. Uh, write some comments on what you guys want from us next. Maybe we'll do a live stream. Who knows? Um, just love you uh, guys. give us some feedback. Definitely love you guys. Miss uh, you. Thank you for all. And we'll see you guys whenever. Bye-bye.